manifestation of our divination, our commitment to what we want to honor and bring forth, to show our humility and gratitude, to honor the ancestors, our lineage. We honor the sun, we honor the moon, we honor the earth, the fire, the water. We bless the water. We burn what no longer serves us. After I build my altar, I go into a state of relaxation, grounding myself into the present moment and to the space that I'm currently in. I breathe deep into the belly, filling it with deep breaths and long exhales. I sit for a while and really just listen. The focus on my intention and what I'm trying to accomplish during my meditation. I sit for a long time. Sometimes during meditation, uncomfortable thoughts might occur because you're in such a deep space of being linked to yourself and your own breath and heartbeat. Depending on what you asked for with your intentions, things might surface that you have suppressed for a very long time. Now is the time to simply presence yourself these issues. Find out what you can do to further your healing. The visual aid that you have created with your altar helps you navigate through the intense scape of your thoughts. It's a visual aid that can comfort you. The candles, the warm light, the shadows are not that scary. Once you illuminate them, altars were always things for churches. Priests got to set altars. I always thought, who am I to create an altar? And the question was, what is an altar? The answer for me was, it's just simply trying it out, playing with my divine objects, aligning them, arranging them finding pleasure and bliss in the arrangement, as well as in the meditation that followed. I can take my altar with me by taking some of the components and creating sacred bags and boxes that I can take with me anywhere I go and set the space that I'm going to be in as a safe container for my stay and the people around me much like a protection practice that keeps me grounded and brings me to my happy space. Pretty much anywhere in the world, that energy can generate anywhere. 
I can bring it up through the meditation and through the outer setting anywhere in the world without the help from the outside, without the electricity, without any outside help, just by placing my objects in a special way that pleases my eyes. Concentrated into sacred alignment of divine objects. Altars are magic and a great opportunity to arrange your will and wishes to your own well of concentrated power. You are creator in action through ritual. Brilliance, radiance, and embodied love awaits you at the end of altar meditation. Be awake, be present, generate love. Let altars help you 